All right, are you aching to take a trip somewhere? How about somewhere warm and beautiful with the water is the bluest blue you've ever seen in your life? Anyway, this morning we have the pleasure of speaking with the Honorable Andrew Holness, Prime Minister of Jamaica. In 2011, he made history as the country's youngest person elected to office. Through compassionate dialogue and inclusiveness, he's ushering in a new generation of transformative development and leadership. Prime Minister Holness joins us from Kingston, Jamaica this morning. Nice to have you on Good Day New York. Thanks for having me, Rosanna. All right, make us a little jealous. Today in New York City, it's really cloudy. We may get some rain. Temperatures are in the 70s. What's it like in Kingston this morning? Well, we're seeing very clear weather. We will probably be somewhere in the, in the 90s with nice sunshine. And um, as you've mentioned, the beaches, if you're on the north coast, it would be very lovely today. It is so beautiful there. I have to say, I've never seen bluer water than I, I've seen in Jamaica. And the people, of course, are so nice there. How did everybody do during this COVID period? Well, like most countries, we've had our challenges. We've had uh, two spikes, but we've managed to contain them. By and large, I would say most Jamaicans are compliant with our uh, measures to control the infections and we've done fairly well in controlling the, the infections we are presently uh, allowing more movements and gatherings in terms of vaccinations i would say about close to 10 percent of the population would have received at least one dose of the vaccines four percent would be totally vaccinated with two doses uh, we've had the challenges like most developing countries where we aren't able to access the vaccines readily as we would like, but we expect that in August, we should have a sufficient supply of vaccines to start uh, widespread and mass vaccinations. So you're waiting on a few more vaccines for the people who work and live there? Yeah, so we have secured supplies, um, we have sub secured contractual purchases, and uh, we should benefit from what was announced at the G7 and other initiatives from other bilateral partners. Prime Minister, what are the protocols for people who want to visit Jamaica right now? Well, the first thing is that if you are visiting as a tourist, then you would go to our Visit Jamaica site and uh, uh, fill out the requirements there, which is quite simple, quite easy. You would be required to take a test a PCR test or other types of tests three days before you travel uh, and present that at the airport negative test. Um, and then you come to Jamaica, you head into our resilient corridor where there are special arrangements. Uh, if you are traveling ordinarily, then you would go to our Jam COVID-19 site. You would fill out the requirements there. You would get a travel authorization. Of course, you present your uh, PCR or other tests negative at the airport and then you are allowed to travel to Jamaica. Prime of course, we, we, we now require a quarantine of 14 days. If you are fully vaccinated, you can spend eight days and if you have a PCR test during that time and it is negative, then you are released from quarantine. Prime Minister, how important is tourism to, the, to Jamaica? Tourism is uh, an anchor and a pillar of the economy here. It's roughly about 30% of our foreign exchange earnings. Uh, but it is also very important uh, in terms of uh, driving other industries, agriculture, construction, uh, and it's a significant employee of labor. So it's very important. Um, I know that you have been very supportive to Haiti. What do you think about the assassination in Haiti right now? You know, it saddens me. I, I knew President Moise uh, personally. Um, but, you know, Jamaica is one of Haiti's closest neighbors. We're 90 miles away. Uh, and we um, are very saddened at the, the killing, the assassination of President Moise. Uh, and uh, I am... My, my heart goes out to his, his wife. I hope she is recovering 
um, speedily. Um, we want to see stability and peace for the people of Haiti. Uh, for centuries, uh, that country has been in upheaval. Uh, it's the first free black state, uh, and uh, it, it means a lot to people in this region and in the Caribbean that Haiti finally reaches a point of stability, growth, and development. Um, I'm, I'm really wanting to see very quickly the investigations resolved, uh, and I'm hoping that the Haitian state itself will mobilize and uh, show the rest of the world that they can um, exercise the authority of uh, an independent and sovereign state in investigating and bringing to justice those persons who would have created and done this heinous act. We hope for justice soon as well, Prime Minister. Let's talk a little bit about you because, uh, well, it's about 10 years ago you became Prime Minister, one of the youngest in that country. Um, what are you most proud of right now? Well, I'm very proud of the fact that Jamaica has resolved its financial, fiscal management of its uh, economic affairs. Uh, and I believe we are on a very good course, having gone through several IMF programs to entrench this kind of fiscal stability and fiscal prudence and good fiscal management. Uh, we are now on a trajectory for growth. And I think that is another major achievement. We are creating the environment, uh, regulatory and otherwise, to become uh, a country that is growing significantly in this region. Uh, we are also tackling other institutional and development issues, such as strengthening our bureaucracy to deal with things such as corruption, but at the same time to become more efficient. Uh, we are also investing heavily, and I'm very proud of this, in our security, our national security, uh, both in terms of our defense force and our police. And we are improving our policing capabilities, and that has been a, a challenge for, for many years. But these are long-term investments which will have uh, signal effects on the transformation of our country. Well, we are now making moves in our education sector, and that is another area in which uh, in a few months we will roll out uh, some transformative policies for our education sector. Well, I can't wait to come back and visit. The entertainment, uh, the people, the food, the water, the weather, everything's just about perfect there, Prime Minister. Um, I also want to say a special thank you to the Council General of Jamaica, Alcyon Wilson, for helping us with uh, securing to talk to you this morning from K Kingston, Jamaica, and rubbing it in that it's so beautiful there this morning. Uh, she's here with us, and uh, she's doing an excellent job in, in New York and the tri-state area, uh, and uh, mobilizing the Jamaican diaspora there which there is a significant Jamaican diaspora, and I want to say hello to each and every one of them. Well, thank you so much, Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness. All the best to you and the people in Jamaica. We appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me, Roseanne. All right.